What God wants from us more than earthly justice, which is which this is a form of earthly justice, the most supreme, a spiritually supreme form of earthly justice is forgiveness of enemies and injuries. And this is the most hardest for us to do as our culture and also the church and even our laws and these divorces in our families have caused us to breed contempt, ill will, evil, malice, and unforgiveness in our hearts. And to go against that, especially if it's been practiced by our superiors for so long, and we see it even in our priests struggling to forgive, then it's hard for us as we don't have solid examples. That's why I would highly recommend reading The Lives of the Saints by Alban Butler. There's one free online that's been actually edited that's really good. Highly recommend it. It's almost 3,000 pages. I like to read out of it every day. It really helps my heart. But I know people, Catholics struggle. I know I struggle with forgiveness every minute, every second. It's something I have to basically literally lie down on the floor begging God, saying that our Father in a stretched way with my arms and feet outstretched like on the cross. Very healing to know how much God has suffered for us and our sins. And it really humbles us to think, wow, and I can't even forgive. When we see these people lose their entire families overnight, in these uh, martyrdoms from the lives of the saints and we think wow and I can't even do this right so if we just humble ourselves by these fine beautiful examples from our past we look at Pope Benedict how the 16th how he's a living example of forgiveness and humility and meekness towards Pope Francis and the cardinals who are trying to kill him we can say wow this is amazing Cardinal Zen uh, how patient he is and staying with his flock even though he fears for his life amazing example of humility right there if we can just kind of hone in on that it's hard to find i often find it hard to find women female examples of humility i have to run towards the blessed mother constantly and that's okay to do sometimes there's no earthly examples we can really hold on to but it only makes us stronger in the spiritual life because we have to hang on spiritually like to the holy ghost to our lord to our blessed mother being close to the sacraments and we know the devil when the devil doesn't sleep we're on the right road because padre pio said only we're only to fear when the devil sleeps <laughs>